Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make a nice circular placemat which can be used as a table mat, as a cup coaster, as a mini doily or as a pot holder. So we are going to begin now. Things that we require for the project are yarn of four colors, the choice of colors depend on you, a pair of scissors to use as and when required, and a hook of 9 mm. So let's get started. At first, we have to pick up the tail of the yarn of color A, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through. There are two loops on the hook pull through both the loops. This is slip stitch. The foundation ring is ready. We have to make chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet and now we have to insert the hook in, pull through. There are three loops on the hook. Pull through two, pull through two. This is double crochet. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the ring. Pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. So now we have to make fourth double crochet, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. and 12. Now we have to join these stitches into the 4 second third. Third chain of the 4 stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through 2. So 4 round is complete now. We have to make chain 1, 2 and now we have to join the stitches on the top of the next double crochet with a slip stitch. Again chain 1, 2 to be joined on the top of the next double crochet. Chain 1, 2 again to be joined on the top of the next double crochet. To complete making 2 double crochet on the top of each double crochet of the previous round and we meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 1, 2 and we have to join the stitches into the 4 double crochet with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color B to the pattern. To add color B, take the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn into the chain space of 1, so pull through. There are two loops on the hook, pull through both the loops. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet. Now wrap the yarn on your hook, insert the hook into the chain space of 2, pull through 2, pull through 2. So we have made two double crochet into same chain space of 2. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, we have to make double crochet 1 and double crochet 2. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, we have to make double crochet 1, double crochet 2. Chain 1 for chain space. So complete the round by making 2 double crochet into each chain space of 1 and there should be a chain space of 1 in between 2 cluster of double crochet. Complete the round and we meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to make double crochet 1 and double crochet 2 into the chain space of 2. Chain 1 for chain space. We have to join the stitches into the 4 second third chain of the 4 stitch with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color C to the pattern. 
To add color C, take the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in pull through to make a slip knot. Now, we have to insert the hook into the chain space of 1. So pull through, pull through 2. Now we have joined the yarn with a slip stitch. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet. And into the same chain space of 1, we have to make one more double crochet. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 1, we have to make two double crochet. So this is double crochet 1 and double crochet 2. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 1, we have to make two double crochet. So in this round, we have to make two double crochet into each chain space of 1 and there should be chain space of 1 in between each cluster of double crochet. So complete the round and we meet again when this round would be complete. When the round is complete, we have to make chain 1 and now we have to join the stitches into the 4 second 3rd chain of the 4 stitch with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color D to the pattern. To add the yarn of next color, take the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn into the chain space of 1, so pull through, pull through 2. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet and into the same chain space of 1, we have to make 2 more double crochet. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 1, we have to make 3 double crochet. One, two and three chain one for chain space into the next chain space of one we have to make double crochet one two and three so complete the round by making three double crochet into each chain space of one and there should be chain space of one in between two clusters Complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to make chain 1 and now we have to join the stitches into the 4, 2nd, 3rd chain of the 4 stitch with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color B to the pattern again and this is color B. Now we have to join the yarn of color B on the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch. Now we have to make single crochet on the top of each stitch. Now on the top of three double crochet of the previous round we have made three single crochet. Again into the chain space of one we have to make single crochet one, single crochet two. On the top of the next three double crochet, we have to make three single crochet. So single crochet one, two, and three. Into the chain space of one, we have to make single crochet one and single crochet two. Now on the top of next three double crochet, we have to make single crochet one. On the top of the next single crochet one on the top of the next single crochet one. So complete the round by making single crochet on the top of each stitch but for the chain space of one we have to make two single crochet. Complete the round and we meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete we have to join the stitches into the full stitch with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color A to the pattern again. Now we have to join the yarn on the top of single crochet where we have made three double crochet. So into the first stitch we have to join the yarn with a slip stitch and chain one, two, three, four which counts as a treble crochet. Now we have to make chain two for chain space. Wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Into the same stitch we have to make one more treble. So pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now without making any chains in between, we have to come 
to the third single crochet where we have to make two trebles so insert the hook in pull through two pull through two pull through two chain two for chain space wrap the yarn twice on your hook insert the hook into the same stitch pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two now without making any chains in between we have to come to the next single crochet and make a treble crochet so pull through two pull through two and pull through two chain two for chain space and wrap the yarn twice on the hook into the same stitch we have to make one more treble crochet now without making any stitch we have to skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch we have to make one treble crochet chain two for chain space and into the same stitch we have to make one more treble crochet without making any chains in between we have to skip two stitches and on the top of the next stitch we have to make treble crochet one chain two treble crochet two into the same stitch so in this round we have to make two treble crochet into the four single crochet that is above the four double crochet of the previous round and there should be chain space of two in between two trebles without making any stitch we have to make two trebles on the top of the third double crochet so we have to skip one single crochet in between again without making any stitches any chains in between we have to come to the next single crochet by skipping two stitches that is into the chain space of one we have to make two trebles on the top of the first double crochet of the next cluster chain two for chain space again without making any chains in between we have to make two trebles by skipping one single crochet on the top of the next double crochet of the previous round so complete the round by making trebles on the top of single crochet and we'll meet again when this round would be complete when the round is complete we have to join the stitches into the first second third and the fourth chain of the four stitch with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color c to the pattern and this is color c now to join this yarn we have to insert the hook into the chain space of two and now we have to join the yarn with a slip stitch now chain one two three which counts as a double crochet and now wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the chain space of two pull through two pull through two this is double crochet again one more double crochet into the chain space of two chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make three double crochet so this is the first one second and third double crochet chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one two and three chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make another cluster of double crochet with three double crochet in our cluster so complete the round by making three double crochet into each chain space of two and there should be a chain space of two in between two clusters of double crochet complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to make chain one two and now we have to join the stitches into the four second third chain of the four stitch with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color d to the pattern so the color d is this color now we are going to join the yarn into the chain space of two with a slip stitch now on the top of four double crochet of the cluster we have to make single crochet one now chain one two three skip a double crochet into the next double crochet join the stitches with slip stitch again into the chain space of two 
we have to make single crochet 1 and single crochet 2. On the top of the first double crochet of the next cluster, make a single crochet, chain 1, 2, 3 and now we have to join the stitches by skipping a stitch and on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Again, into the chain space of 2, we have to make 2 single crochet. On the top of the first double crochet of the next cluster, make a single crochet, chain 1, 2 and 3. Skip a stitch, join the stitches on the top of the third double crochet of this cluster with a slip stitch. So complete the round following the same pattern and we'll meet again when this round would be completed. Round is complete. We have to make one more single crochet into the chain space of 2 and now we have to begin the pattern from here. Into the chain space of 3, we have to make double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we have to join the stitches in between two single crochet with a slip stitch. We have to begin the pattern from here by making double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Join these stitches in between two single crochet that we have made in into the chain space of two. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. We have to begin the pattern from here by making double crochet one, two, three, four, five and six. Now we have to join the stitches in, two, in between two single crochet with a slip stitch. So complete the round by making six double crochet into each chain space of three and to join the stitches we have to join the stitches in between two single crochet that we have made into the chain space of two. So complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed. Just complete. We have to join the stitches in between two single crochet with a slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color B to the pattern again. The yarn of color B, we have to insert the hook into the single crochet that we have made and now we have joined the yarn with the slip stitch. Now in this round, we have to make single crochet on the top of each stitch. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook on the top of the next stitch, pull through, pull through two. This is how we have to make single crochet on the top of each stitch. When we'll reach at the point where we have joined the stitches, we have to go in between two single crochet of the eighth round and make a single crochet again single crochet one two three four five and six on the top of each stitch now to join the stitches we have to go back to the eighth round insert the hook in in between two single crochet pull through pull through two again we have to make single crochet one two three four five and six now we have to go back to the eighth round insert the hook in between two single crochet pull through pull through two this is how we have to complete the round by making single crochet on the top of each stitch. 
So complete the round following the same pattern and we'll meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, you will see that now a nice mini doily or the coaster pot holder or the hot pad is complete. You can make a single piece for pot holder and if you wish, you can make a set of four or six to decorate your dining area. Thank you so much.